Good morning. It's the Baguette Gal. It is, what day is it? It's Tuesday, January 28th. So it was my birthday yesterday. And on top of that, I am back at school. And so you know what that means? Procrastination. This is just a little taste of some things I'm working on. And I don't really want to right now. And um, I actually just had a message from someone wishing me a happy birthday and saying, you know, keep up with the baguette reviews. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I will. So I'm actually at my stepmom's right now, and I didn't have any of this planned. So I just went through the fridge, and I found this um, pair of breads baguette. And I know that I've reviewed it, Tara Baguette pair of breads that I get before, um, but I don't think I've ever reviewed one that's been in the fridge for, I don't know how long it's been here for, I, I think I saw this back in like the beginning of the month, so it's been a minute, and then I tried to find something that I could put on the baguette, and in honor of Australia Day yesterday, or January 26th, so it was yesterday, here, anywho, no, that's not right. But, you know, we're in within 48 hours or whatever. Um, and I know that there's some, like, not everyone is acknowledging Australia Day, but, um, you know, for political reasons, I'm not going to get into that right here or now. But, anyways, I love Australia. I'm a citizen. Grew up there, so I love Vegemite. I'm a happy little Vegemite. And then... It's a little early, but I thought riding on the coattails of my birthday, I found this in the, in the fridge, in the wine. I found this wine in the fridge. And um, I know my stepmom doesn't like white wine, and so this is her cooking wine. And it's been in the fridge for, oh, the Viognier, and it's been, it's Italian, and it's been in the fridge for probably longer than the baguette. So I don't think she's going to miss it. So and I think that I actually have been doing um, some research lately and apparently drinking while studying helps you, um, I mean like not excessive, but you know like a sophisticated amount, that looks fine, um, can actually help with memory retention. Um, and here's a plate from earlier, my breakfast, I had a piece of toast. Um, I don't think that'll get in the way of this. Oh, and it's pre-sliced. So, cool. Okay. More pieces. It's raw hard, by the way. Like, very... Oh, wow. It's all in pieces. Actually, come to think of it, I think that she says something about being able to use this for croutons or something. I think we're past the point of being able to cut this or break this in any way. Um, I'll still smell it. Mmm. Not terribly great. Definitely crusty and crunchy. I feel like it's going into petrified stage, but um, this seems like the most easy or able, the ability to eat this is the easiest out of all of these without completely destroying my teeth. And um, so this is really convenient. It's just a little tube of Vegemite and just I won't have any margin otherwise I would do that. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good to be back. Hmm. Okay, I like that. It's not awful. I mean, it's a, it's a little... It's not great either, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. I'm actually a little bit nervous um, to eat this, so here we go.
Hmm. The vegemite is such a distinct flavor. It's very strong. It's good. It brings back memories of primary school and vegemite sandwiches. The bread is edible, um, but I mean, <laughs> this isn't very good. So I guess what we can really ascertain here is that this baguette is stale and it doesn't taste very good. The wine isn't great either. So we'll put these back in the bag and my stepmom can do what she wants with it. Probably throw it out when she realizes that it's still in there and carry on using this for cooking oil. Thanks for joining me. I hope this has been in some way, shape, or form useful. Okay, bye from the Big Gal.